Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Um, so let's talk about your love relationship here. Um, when I was shuffling the cards, one of the things that I am seeing here is a, a very, very quick escalation of a relationship. Okay, so many of you um, might have been, it might be in a relationship where things happen really, 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 really fast. So I see like a major acceleration of time frame. Uh, of significant milestones in a, a relationship that you're in and I feel almost like this card here denotes to me like love at first sight okay it's like you're young you're attractive you meet somebody who's equally young and just as attractive and then it's like instant connection instant connection so it's like um you know going out to a music scene or you know going to a bar going to a, a concert going to a carnival wherever it is you you meet this person and it's like the sparks are flying and everything is great and then from then it leads to the ten of cups and so things are happening really fast. You solidify the relationship with the other person. You might have uh, been married to the other person. You might still be married to the other person. But either way, there's this major, major escalation, mainly because the attraction is so, so, so strong. And I feel for some of you, too, it's almost like a situation where, in hindsight, right, like, uh, you're looking back on it now, and you're just like, I wish we'd slow down. I wish we had planned things a little bit better. Or there's some, like, sadness and regrets in this card, this Four of Cups. It's almost like you might be married, you might have children at this point, and you're just like, there are so many other things that I want to do. I want to travel. I want to study abroad. I want to change my career. I want to buy a house. I want to go back to school. It's like all of these other things that you have wanted to accomplish in your own life. And they're kind of swept on the wayside, mainly because of the escalation of this relationship. It happened so fast and you were kind of swept up in the whirlwind of it. You welcomed it. But with the relationship, with the marriage, with the children, it comes, you know, a lot of responsibility and it comes with a lot of um, security oriented issues that you have to you know kind of um, make sacrifices for right and so that's what I'm sensing here where there is some sadness there is some regrets about you know if I hadn't done this what would my life look like it's not that you you don't love your partner it's not that you know you want to um, step out on the relationship but some of you just feel like I wish we had slowed down and I feel like you were young and, you know, um, when you met the partner or you might have, um, or your partner could be very young. And it's just like the chemistry was so great. And, and then things just happen in the course of the relationship that was um, not, I don't want to say not well thought out, but I feel like it was beyond your control. And you willed it and you followed uh, the, the time frame, but it happens to be kind of like out of your reach and now you feel like but there are all of these other things that I wish I could do that I wish I could you know go back in time and slow things down and get all these other ducks in a row get all these other wishes or bucket list things out of my way knock them down one by one before I could be ready before I could be a better person I feel for some of you your partner as well might be going through the same situation and I have here the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is, you know, feeling a little bit abandoned, feeling a little bit neglected, feeling a little bit like, where is, you know, the person that promised to be by my side? And I feel like there might have been some issues here where if you are dealing in particular with an air sign, so Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, you might have left this person and they have moved on with their lives. They, there was a period of time where they were like really heartbroken. They waited, waited, and waited for you. And I feel like they're moved on. They, they, they have, you know, um, found a lot of success in their life. They have 
I, I feel like someone who's famous, you know, this is a card about fame. This is a card of someone who is musically inclined, who's very talented, who's an entertainer, who's quite attractive and beautiful, and they're meant for the limelight. And they have found their calling. They have made it. And so you kind of wonder, you know, what if I stay with that person? Not because you want to ride their coattails to fame, but you always wonder, like, you know, was that the one that got away? Was that the person that, you know, loved me unconditionally? So even though you have like all of these great things in your life, I feel like there is a trip down memory lane or something that's happening here where you're just like, um, not so much, you, I feel like you're questioning some of your choices. You're questioning some of these alternative, you know, timelines. If I hadn't done that, what would have happened? If I'd done that differently, what would have happened? If I hadn't, you know, gone there, like you're you're doing these all these what ifs, and you're not really appreciating the the present moment, the partner that you have, the blessings that you have, and everything in between. And if you are dealing with an air sign, I feel like they're feeling a little bit neglected. You might have moved on from them. They're trying to move on with their life, but it, it's it's proving to be difficult. I feel like you know their social life is great, but. I'm sensing that they they do still miss you. They still want that contact. They still want some type of communication. They feel a little bit left out, like they have to do everything. So if it's promises that were made, you know, we're in this together. Seven of coins, the seven of pentacles, and the ten of cups here. If we're in it together, then we need to be on the same team. So they feel a little bit like they have to move everything along just to get things rolling while you're here soaking in this space of what ifs your partner is like your partner needs you your partner needs you so you need to step up okay um, the other thing that I'm feeling as well is um, I feel like there is this dichotomy between success and failure Somebody feels like they're on top of the world. They have a lot of fame, a lot of accolades, um, a very vibrant, robust professional life. They are in high demand. They apply for jobs and they land jobs everywhere. So you might be in a relationship where you're trying to coordinate your next move and you know, you're trying to go out into the world to, to land jobs so that you can coordinate you know, being in the same city being in the same uh, town, buying property, um, moving to the same area even. And I feel like one partner is getting all the jobs and then the other partner feels inadequate. The other partner is all like, I went on this interview and you know I didn't get it. I have another one lined up for next week, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. So it's like somebody is really successful and then the other person feels like they're not matching up to their partner's success. Somebody is in high demand, like it's, it's really popular. It's it's very like, um, it's not even a matter of attractiveness. It's, it's somebody has a lot of suitors and then the other person feels um, inadequate. And I feel like it might be on your end because this is a water energy. And so the advice for you down here, the advice for you overall is to also understand as well that, you know, things seems to, whenever it's like things that are on the right track or things that are meant to be, the time frame is highly, highly accelerated, you know. So, for example, you got accepted to, you know, a university. Uh, what comes up is you got to move. You got to find a sign a new lease. You got to find a new apartment. You got to, um, you know, if it's like out of state, then you have to, you know, start like getting the ball rolling when it comes to vehicle registration, when it comes to class registration. Everything just happens in a very accelerated manner. And it's like, it makes you really, really nervous. But at the same time, it's divine timing. Divine timing, things happen really, really, really quickly. If it's on your path, you're going to be propelled. And it's going to feel very unnerving, but ultimately it's the right path, okay? There is also a sense of divine timing where it's teaching you to be patient. Be patient that 
every job interview that you go on is preparing you for that ideal job because it's teaching you to prepare to be a better um, to to answer your questions better or to answer those you know interview questions better. Everything that you're doing, even though it ends up you know um, in with us with a resolution that you don't like, it's preparing you for the next phase. Okay, so for example. I've gone on many, many, many job interviews, and um, you know we we all have gone through that, and we all have you know the the refusals or the um, denial as well, and it doesn't feel good. However, it teaches you to kind of look back and and just kind of replay that whole scenario, that whole interview, and think to yourself like you know what could I have done differently? How could I have worded it differently? And then after like four or five failed interviews, you're gonna hit pay dirt. You're going to be so knowledgeable and so articulate and so well versed in your interviewing skills that they'll be crazy not to hire you. So I feel like this is a card about you know being a little bit more. It's like everything is highly accelerated, and you're hoping this process would also be highly accelerated, but it's slowed down, and because it's slowed down. You are really worried. Am I doing the right thing? Am I on the right path? Is this the right decision? And the universe is really telling you, you know, you are on the right path. It is the right decision. Family members, friends, co former coworkers, everybody that is your emotional support network, everybody that is your professional network, is going to help you with this process if you reach out. But at the same time. Don't just reach out and expect everybody to do the legwork for you. You need to be prepared. This is waiting for your ship to come come in, waiting for the package, waiting for the news, waiting for the communication, waiting for the feedback, waiting for the grades. For some of you, if you're in school, and this is a card here, you're embarking on a journey. You need to be prepared. You need to know worst case scenarios, best case scenario, have a plan B. Have a plan C in case things don't work out because the preparation is still on your end, and this is a big Cancer card here because、uh, with Cancerian people, I feel like you know you have a roundabout way of going after what you want. So exert your energy, okay? Exert your energy. Be prepared from your end, but also needing to take the steps, following up, okay? So for example, if you're waiting on a school to get back to you. Follow up. Write them a letter. If they deny you, write an appeal. People need to know that you want it bad enough for them to consider you. And when you want something bad enough, your passion will shine through, and it will allow them to, you know,、um, feel and gauge how much you want it. When they read the、uh, the appeal, when you reach out and they hear it in your voice, it has nothing to do with desperation, but it's more to do with. I want this. Here are the reasons why I'm the best candidate for it. So I feel like you're waiting on some things like a major breakthrough in your career, in your professional life, and it feels like everything has been delayed, and you're starting to wonder, you know, how long must I stay in this state of limbo, waiting, waiting, waiting before my life will go in the direction that I am, you know, destined to go. So there is a lot here about you know destiny and waiting for the hands of fate to turn, but the whole time I feel like you're the one that needs to take the initiative. You're the ones that need to you know reach out and start making things happen for you. And I feel like everybody in your network, your your guides are guiding you. Your neighbors are going to help you. Your friends, your family, whoever it is that is in your emotional or professional support network. This is a concerted effort. Everybody needs to be on board. The same with relationship. If one partner feels like they're doing all the work, the other partner needs to step up. So this is a card about community and family coming together, but in a divine way. I have two angels here, and whenever you have these angel blessings. Your guides are helping you. Your angels are helping you. So ask for help, but also don't just passively wait and wait and wait for signs, for signals. 
for things to kind of fall on your lap, you are going to need to be the catalyst of change in your own life and take up the mantle and, you know, make things happen. Get off this throne and like really go for things, okay? So there is a, a major turning over a new leaf in your life here, Cancers. And I feel like it's guiding you towards a really good direction. So whatever disappointments you've dealt with in the past, it's a learning experience, okay? It's a learning experience. If we bomb that interview, then we know we need to do research and we need to be a little bit more prepared and we need to be more articulate. We need to give more examples so that we can ace the next interview. So everything that you've done, even though it doesn't feel like it's a success, it feel, might even feel like it's a failure, it's preparing you for something greater. It's, it's honing your skills. It's making you more aware of, okay, where are my deficits and what can I do to strengthen them, okay? Um, I hope the reading is helpful. I do wish you all the best, okay? The, um, the energy, honestly, is very uncomfortable and I don't want you guys to be dealing with this. So hopefully there's clarity in the messages and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Take care.